In this video, we remelt last week's rocket grubs and we take it up a notch. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to SDG. Last week's video was a lot of fun. It was a success. Hopefully you guys have seen that and if you did, you enjoyed it. Where we launched a brand new Epic Bait Mold bait called the Rocket Grub and we launched the brand new color demo comparison resource series as we said at the time those videos are going to be a resource so they're not really made to make the baits look fancy and add all this extra glitter and offsets and accents but that doesn't mean we can't do that so today that's exactly what we're going to do i've got all four colors we're going to remelt them back down we're going to add some flake to them and we're going to reshoot all four molds so that we can see what uh, maybe some gussied up rocket grubs look like. Before we do that though, I've had some questions about the rocket grub that I thought would be helpful to share. Specifically how it relates to say a Strike King Menace because it is a Menace style bait. Um, and also how does it compare to the Angling AI Phantom Grub? I think the rocket grub is different and not just in the nuancy of that little tip that comes off of both of the tails the concern I was hearing if there was a concern was that the menace uh, and the phantom didn't really have a whole lot of kicking action unless you were fishing them on heavy jig heads with a lot of speed the question was was that the same case with the rocket grub I'm gonna drop a video right here. This is a quick little video of Jason testing the rocket grub that he sent me while it was being developed. As you can see, we'll slow down here in slow-mo, lots of kicking action on this thing on very little, if any, weight. There it is on a slow retrieve. It's on a swing head, but I'm supporting the weight and just creeping it along. You can see all that tail movement. And if you move it with any kind of speed at all, you can just see it flutter. Look at that. I think the reason for that is twofold. One, as you can see, the tail is elongated versus the Phantom or the Strike King. The Strike King and the Phantom look more uh, roundish oval where the rocket has those elongated tails. So that definitely helps. But secondly, I think the tail in the rocket grub is thinner, which is gonna help promote more flapping, a little bit more action. For what it's worth, some guys were asking about that and I definitely wanted to share that. Um, now it is time to jump into our first color. So we are going to reshoot the tails of the three and a half first. If you recall, that was using the Barlow's Tackle Lava Craw. I'm going to remelt this down. We are going to add black because that was suggested and I thought that would be a good idea too. On top of that, this just screams copper. Plastisol's ready. I've got an eighth teaspoon here we're going to go with an eighth first uh, if we think that either color warrants a little bit more then we'll add a little bit more but instead of going right to a quarter you can always add you can't take away so here's an eighth of black 0.035 and then an eighth of copper as well pretty good I think it could use more black maybe more copper too I don't know maybe we'll just load this thing up so there's another eight that's a quarter teaspoon total this is one cup and if you recall um, this is the opaque version so this is one eighth teaspoon color shift powder to get what you're seeing here yeah Let's go all the way. Another copper. We're going to do it, right? Do it. So that's a quarter teaspoon of each. I think this is going to be what we shoot right here. 
Oh yeah. That's looking really nice. Temperature is 330. So let's shoot this thing. Into eight ounce, more than enough for this. Could easily use a four or a three ounce and not get close to filling up these tail molds. But it'll do the job. Nice and slow. A little bit of pressure at the end. Nothing dramatic. Oh yeah. I think those are gonna look tasty. Let's see if I'm right. Oh, oh yeah. Yes, I think I was correct. It's like their little tails on fire. Oh man, that looks nice. Look at that color shift. Red to orange to yellows. Ooh. I think the flake was a good choice. This is a very good start. Let's turn now to our body color. So our body color is in its final stage of warming up. I sent it through the vac chamber to make sure it was bubble free and uh, it's just about ready. Before we jump into that though, I wanted to show you something because I don't think I showed this to you in the last video and that is what these tails look like um, all by themselves loaded into the full, ca full size cavity molds. This is what they look like. Just pulled them off the sprue and uh, dropped them in there. Took me about a minute per side. You can use oil if you want, just a little, not too much, but just a little bit of worm oil on your finger and, and rub it on each of the tail sections. It'll slide in a little bit easier. I did all of these without any, it didn't seem too bad. I think the key is you line up that flange, right? And it'll sit down in there, the little points on the end, and then you're ready to go. One thing um, I mentioned in the last video too, I shot the larger grubs in the last video at a cooler temperature because I wanted to see if they would bond as well at that lower temperature with the tails. What I realized after I shot that is it's almost unnecessary. Like the temperature uh, doesn't need to be different than how you would normally shoot a grub. For me, that's 320, 325, no more than 330-ish. The reason for that is how this tail uh, lays in. And what I'm talking about is right here. So you can see how the plastic is gonna go in and it's gonna surround, including that tip, right? It's gonna surround that whole tail. Normally, when you do stuff like this, like if you were to do a stick bait and you were to cut it and then place those back in and shoot it, you have those two edges that are coming together like this and you need it to be hot enough, the one coming in, to melt this one that's already in there a lot enough to so they fuse together. With the rocket grub, that's not the design, right? You can shoot it at your normal temperature because it's gonna come in and it's gonna basically surround that the tail end of that tail or the front end of that tail and lock it into place as the body cools. All right, glove on, let's get our plastic and work on this color. As you recall, this is one cup of black melon, Lure Works black melon. Looking very nice with uh, one eighth of a teaspoon of small black flake. To that, I love large and black, or large black flake and small black flake. <laughs> small black fill. Wow, why can't I say that? Small black flake together. So I've got my large here since we already have small in. Quarter teaspoon of large to start with. And secondly, I thought it would be cool to play off of the lava craw and add some red. For those that like um, watermelon red, right? Watermelon red flake, I think a dark melon or dark watermelon red flake. It's gonna look pretty nice too, especially with a lava craw copper black tail. Hello. Watermelon red is, is a cool color, but black melon red, that's pretty nice. Suck it up into my N2 injector here. I'm excited. I think this is going to look pretty darn good. Oh yeah. 
Oh, heck yeah. Look at those beauties. Ooh. What a great combination. See them in the, the light there. You can kind of see the transparency. Even though this was, uh, for the lure works, this was 16 out or 16 ounces, 16 drops, which was kind of our opaque version, right? But this colorant, just by nature, Dark Melon is a transparent colorant. Check those out. Very cool. Super happy with those. Those look dope. Let's move on to the four and a half. All right, just like before, let's start with our tail color. So this is an eighth of a teaspoon, if you recall, of Sparkle Gold uh, Pearl X Pearl Powder. I definitely knew right away I wanted to go to medium size gold. So this is 0 .040 uh, gold flake. I just think this really sets it off. I even mentioned that in the last video. Quarter teaspoon, not going to be bashful. So that's a good place to start, but I want a little something extra, a little something more. Uh, so let's get this stirred in first. I mean, you can see how much that adds to it. Oh, love it. So, like I said, I wanted something a little bit more. You'll see why in a few minutes. What I ended up going to was 0 .08 Rainbow. So this is a uh, extra small glitter from Barlow's. It's got this silver, red, green mix. I mean, it's a rainbow, right? So one sixteenth of a teaspoon. I'm only going to do half of one sixteenth because. 0.08, very, very small, very strong, and I just want a little bit of an accent. At least that's what I think. We're gonna stir it up and we're gonna find out if we can use a little bit more. That might get lost in here. Yeah, kinda got lost. Let's go a little bit more. We'll go to a full 16th, another half. If nothing happens of that, then I'm gonna chalk it up to this pearl paint or yeah pearl powder just kind of overtaken and we'll go with the gold so I can see it a little bit in there it's just a hint just some extra color here and there I see some blue red what's our temp 340 so we'll let that sit for a minute get our flake out of the way and uh, be ready to shoot these tails all right, we are right at 3.30 and dropping, so let's go ahead and shoot these. Slightly larger mold for larger tails, but still more than enough here, and then some in this 8 ounce. Could easily fill this one with a 4 or a 3 ounce, just like the other. Bring forth the 4.5 tails. Ooh. Oh yeah. I love gold pearl powder. That sparkled gold with gold flake. You guys are probably sick of hearing about it. I mentioned it a bunch in my last video, but it just, to me, to my eye, golly. Perfect little compliment. And you can just see some of that rainbow in there. See that? Just a little twinkle. I kind of like it. Yep, they all came out perfect. So let's get these in the big mold and let's see what we can do with the body. So just like the three and a half, thought I'd give you a close up on the four and a half with just the tails in it. There you go. She's all loaded up. And you see, same design, right? Right there's the tip. So that nose will come all the way around and fill it up. So this purple zonker is a very deep purple, almost like a reddish purple. You get some light on it, you can see a lot more of that purple than the red. You see the edges of the cup as well there. If you know me, you know one of my favorite color combos is uh, Junebug Gold. I actually add a little bit of gold flake to my Junebug. Uh, and at this, since this was a purple zonker and it has that purple side to it, I thought, I don't know, let's see if uh, we can make a June bug out of it. But I do think it needs a little bit of uh, purple help, as it were. 
So what we're going to do, I've got uh, purple medium, 035 purple flake. We're going to add a quarter teaspoon to this cup of that just to help kind of drive home a little bit more of the purple. And then classic June bug, right? Same size, medium size, green flake. Quarter teaspoon of that. And I like two different sizes of green in my June bug. So I've got 0.015, 1 eighth of a teaspoon of that. Wow, that's going to be interesting. I like it. Very flake forward, but uh, I think it's going to be kind of cool. Let me warm this guy up a little bit, and then um, we'll move stuff around, and we'll shoot it, see what she looks like. All right, we are at 327. That sounds just right to me. Let's give this a whirl. This one does suck down a little bit more plastic. Same deal though. Nice, steady, slow injection. Those ribs need time to fill out properly, so I put my finger right here on there, pick that up from Parrot Gilly, and it helps me not inject too fast. That feels good, looks good. Make sure it has enough. we go oh I have a preview and it looks looks wonderful look at those hmm definitely not your traditional June bug but as an inspired June bug with the purple flake and the purple zonker color and blah 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 yeah I think this is pretty cool Check that out. Man, and with those gold tails. Mmm. Mold shoots beautifully. Look at that. All the ribbing. Just right. Those uh, noses, right? The tips surrounding the tail, just like we talked about. Very cool. Huh? I mean, golly, these turned out awesome. Took our base color, jazzed it up a little bit. I love how they turned out, but it's got me wondering. I wonder what they would look like. Yeah, that's fantastic. Check out that laminate. Woo. I mean, that's awesome. Look at that. There you get a little bit of the gold if we had added gold to the body, right? See how it's coming through from the other side of the tail. But my goodness gracious. Whew. This is the four and a half, obviously. Look at the lamination. Mm, mm, mm. Man, did these turn out nice. Wow. Just gorgeous. So this was a straight lamination, right? Just two colors laminated together. Uh, temperature was about 327, something something close to that. And I mean, the, the cleanest lines, right? Just gorgeous. I had another idea though. So let me show you that one. I did this with the other colors as well. But with this one, I shot or I laminated the tails first. So one side of the tail has the dark melon, the other side has lava craw. Then when I put them into the mold, I made sure to orient the mold to shoot the opposite colors on each. So this is the lava cross side and the tail side from that separate tail lamination is dark melon and then dark melon with the lava craw on this side. Huh? How cool is that? So you could laminate the tails and then switch it and get four or two different color combinations vice versa right offsetting tails on each side man those turned out dynamite right and there's the other side guys this has been 
a ton of fun <clears throat> taking these to the next level. Not going to put them in the test tank because we did that on the last video. If you're curious about the action in the test tank, you can go check that one out. But these guys certainly, as well as the others that we already created with just the uh, single color in the body and single color in the tail, yeah, they all deserve a little close up. So enjoy that. <laughs> Well, at the risk of sounding hokey, I am over the moon about the Rocket Grub, and I hope you guys are too. If you want to get one of these molds for yourself, make sure to go check out uh, EpicBaitMolds.com. So www.EpicBaitMolds.com. Guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, and you'd like to see more lure building just like that, then click right here. If you're curious about the name SDG, then click right here. Otherwise, until the next time, I'll see you guys 